Hey guys, Dan Hood here. I'm going to do a polishing video. I've now sanded this, including the sides, to a matte finish at 600 wet sand, 600 grit. I've gone down through the grits with the sander like I showed you in the last video. So this video I'm going to polish. Now, a couple of things. I've got my drill press here. You can see that I've set it at um, 1630 RPM. You can also set it at 2000 if you want. I'm not going to polish the aluminum one on this one. I'm going to leave it as a matte finish because that's what I want. So I'm just going to polish the Corian. Okay. You can see this actually because I'm doing Corian, this is actually what they call a stitched cotton wheel. It's not a loose leaf cotton wheel. Okay. I'll quickly walk over here with you. Okay. This is loose leaf okay this is stitch so you guys see the difference between the two okay now let's go back over here to my thing now i've turned the light at the right angle let me go get my face mask i need to talk to you so i'm not going to be wearing my respirator it's okay because there's not much dust coming off of this let me also get this out of the way so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, and let's get started. Now, a couple things I need to explain better, okay? First off, you never want to get aluminum, okay? You never want to get aluminum on your clean wheel, okay? Because see, here's my dark wheel. You see what aluminum does? Any metal makes it black, okay? That's the first thing. So you saw me avoiding, avoiding the aluminum by holding it like this and polishing it up, okay? Blue polishing compound, okay? That's the best I've found for just about anything all round, okay, for polishing. Now, look closely at this, okay? Can you see where I've polished and where I haven't polished? You can see the difference really quickly. Hopefully, you can see it in this video, okay? You can see this looks like glass. This still looks like a matte finish, okay? Now, what I do is I go around this slowly. I get in all the crevices. You guys, I'll show you a few more minutes of how I did that. And then we'll go from there. Okay? And then I'll turn this off and finish this bad boy up. Okay, before I finish this up, I'm just going to let me know. You notice that this is spinning this way, okay? This is spinning this way. So you notice I feed it in going this way, and then I get as close to the aluminum as I can without touching the aluminum, okay? Does that all make sense? I'm going to turn this off for now. I'm going to finish this up, and then um, I'll show you how I do the dowel polish in the middle, okay? Take care.